Yo, what is up everyone? Game Breaker God here. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys my Thanos bit. Alright man, so starting off guys, you guys are gonna need to get this armor. And this armor, you get it by defeating the Valkyries as if you just started a new game in God of War. So let's say you never played a game. So when you fight the Valkyries, you're gonna get this one. And if you want to continue playing the game and make a new game plus, so the next time you do that, you're gonna get this one, which is the new game plus update that uh, Santa Monica did for us to get new armors and stuff. So if you just started playing the game and if you defeated the Valkyries, then you'll get this one. And this one is the best looking one for me because I like the yellow and the gold armor, which makes it look more like Thanos since Thanos armor is slightly yellow and blue and shit. So um, yeah. It's cool man, it's cool, but if you want to make this build even stronger, then by all means equip this one, which is the upgraded version of this, and it just makes it even more ridiculous, as you can see. So, that being said guys, make sure you defeat the Valkyries, and uh, yeah, good luck on getting it, man. Alright man, starting off with the enchantments. My favorite enchantment of all time, guys. Let's, you know what it is, Perfect Mark of Kvasir. The reason why I use this talisman, not only does it allow you to perform combos when you're fighting bosses and stuff, it gives you an insane amount of ridiculous new game tech. So like, it makes you, allows you to parry fireballs and meet combos and stuff. And then like, you you can just imagine the combos that I've been doing, right? So it's all thanks to this. It's all thanks to Perfect Mark Blaster. It allows you to do everything, guys. Everything that you see in my combo videos and like just in gameplay. Uh, game gameplay and you know walkthroughs and stuff that I've been doing is all thanks to this. It allows you to defeat the Valkyries like they're <laughs> like they are newbies. It's like Kratos is the boss and the Valkyries are like the the player. <laughs> so you want to make sure you equip this. And how to make this? All right. So what you're gonna need to do, guys, is first of all you're gonna need to go to uh, map, go to Alfheim. And if I'm not wrong, guys, I'm sorry. I think it's on the right side of the map. And if not, then it's going to be on the left side. You're going to need to go through Alfheim and find this box. And you're going to need to uh, destroy one of those, like, you know, those little, uh, what you call it? Those sea, sea plants and shit. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I'll make sure I put a link on the description so you guys can see. It. I'll call it Perfect Mark of Faster and how to craft it. And you guys can check that out on that video. And um, yeah, I explained pretty much everything on how to get it on that video. Um, just make sure you literally click on the description on um, where I'm gonna write down perfect mark of Kvasir. So you guys can see how I make it. All right, man, moving on guys. You wanna get a uh, perfect mark of the traveler and this is pretty freaking expensive. Um, it's the most expensive <laughs> enchantment in the game because basically you're gonna have to purchase this armor, where is it? Armor of the Traveler, where is it? 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 There it is. Slowly regenerate, as you can see, the perks, protection of the Traveler, slowly regenerates a protective barrier that absorbs a single damage. So, not only the Traveler, not only the, what you call it, the, um, oh, damn it. Crafting the armor will be 75. To upgrade it, it's also going to be like 75. So, each time you upgrade it, it's going to cost you like, 500 maybe like a million it's gonna cost you like a million hack silver guys one million hack silver to make this enchantment <laughs> and not only that and then once you've like upgraded all the parts you're gonna buy this part you're gonna have to buy uh where is it this one you're gonna buy that one and then you're gonna have to buy this one right here right and then you're gonna go you're gonna make sure you haven't got equipped like by all means listen to this guys you're gonna make sure you do not have the armor equipped and then go on to buy and enchantments it's gonna say perfect mark of protection or something no it's gonna say something perfect mark of the traveler around here because it's gonna make sure like when you got it all equipped and um you know when you got all the parts necessary well gathered and stuff make sure you are here and it should say perfect mark of the traveler where you can exchange you know exchange the the armor for the enchantment it is worth it because you know he absorbs one attack especially if you're going for a zeus glass ballista 
So if I'm gonna equip the Zeus armor, I know for sure I won't die because I got that single hit absorbed and then I got another chance to not get fucked up. So yeah, it is worth it, guys. But um, yeah, that's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it, man. So make sure you get this on there. All right. All right, man. Moving on, guys. You're gonna need to equip the Heart of the Valkyrie. So when this activates, guys, you get this by um sorry before i go into the activation thing you get this by defeating the valkyrie either in new game plus or just in um you get the 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 what you call it the there's a rare version not a rare version there's a legendary version and then there's also the exotic i'm just gonna call it exotic because it reminds me of just destiny and exotic means it's yellow but I know it's not exotic in the in the terms of God of War or something else, but it doesn't matter. Um, just to let you know, the yellow version you get it by defeating the Valkyrie on the on the game where you've just started playing God of War, and in New Game Plus you get the red version, which is the perfect mark, the perfect um, heart of the Valkyrie Plus, which is the red version, guys. And basically, it makes you resistant to all stat, stat, stats, effects, and possibility of like being staggered by enemies. So like. When you get hit, you do not get staggered. And it, it literally like you don't flinch. All it is is that allows you to keep attacking your opponent even when they hit you. So basically, long story short, that's all it does. It just allows you not to be flinched when you're attacking. All right, so on my gauntlet, guys, I always make sure I have something to increase my, you know, my punches and stuff. So like, I use this a lot. As you can see in my videos, I use this a lot, right? And the reason why you see that yellow blow on the screen is because I have 200, I mean, I'm 250 defense or above. So when you have, when Kratos has 250 defense or above, it allows you to do that. So if I decrease my, my, uh, what do you call it? My defense, as you can see, we'll no longer do it. See that? But if I then have 250 defense plus, then it'll do it. There you go. See that? That's the only thing. So you just gotta make sure you have 250 defense plus, guys, and that's all. All right, so you're gonna make sure you get the following enchantments on that gauntlet. So you wanna get anything that increases barehanded damage. So heart of the Midgard, you want that in there. You also want uh, anything else that says barehanded damage. So, oh, I don't wanna go through it. I think I just went through it then. There it is. So, perfect symbol of the realm. And then I think there's a, there's a blue one as well that I have. There it is, right? And that should make it 18%. So, when I punch those Valkyries, they will feel it, man. They will feel it and they will take a lot of damage from that. It really drastically increases your power when it comes to like punches, guys, and it really does hurt. It makes a huge difference. All right, man. As moving on, guys, this scale of the mighty, you get this by doing the dwarven favor and freeing the dragon, guys. The dragon, which you you last um, free by doing the dwarven favor. You know, like when you do all of Sindri's and um, Brock's favors and then you get to release this dragon well free the dragon um i might even put the cutscene on the video which dragon it is so you guys can see which dragon i'm talking about and uh yeah you get this but i wouldn't use this anyway i'm gonna <laughs> just because you're gonna use this one instead because you get this moderate perk activation chance to grant a short boost of runic strength or defense on any successful hit which is way better than the scale of the mighty to be honest with you. And then you also got the Invaldi's Corrupted Mind, which basically just makes your opponents weaker just by being in your presence, guys. And that's basically all it is. It just makes them slightly weaker for you to beat the hell out of. And uh, yeah, and that's basically all it does. And then I also use the attack for my axe. Yeah, I know it's only 6%, but since it's Thanos build, it doesn't matter. It will hurt regardless. So it will increase my froze, you know, my, my Leviathan Axe froze. 
by 6%, so it should hurt a little bit more. Alright, and also you get like a lot of strength. I'm not sure on how to get these, but I know this one you get it by, you know, by completing Niflheim. You know, one of those chests in Niflheim. So I'll show you in the map where, where that should be. Uh, Niflheim, where's that? Where's that? Oh, there it is. It should be... Um, if I'm not wrong, it should be around here, guys. One of these, um... Oh no, it should be here. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah, it should be here, right here in the middle. Where you get respawn if you die and stuff, so... Should be right here, guys. Um, one of those realm tiers will have Invalid's Corrupted Mind in it. And, uh, yeah, and that's it. Okay, and then as for your Shattered Gauntlet of Ages, you're gonna have to do a quest um, by the Dwarven Favors, and one of them will be Shattered Gauntlet of Ages. Um, as I just showed you on my video last night, well, the day before, actually, I collected Shattered Gauntlet of Ages by doing the Dwarven Favor, and I got this perfect version of Shattered Gauntlet of Ages. You got this yellow version, which is the exotic version, which gives you 17 defense. This one will give you... 23 defense and it's a lot better so yeah this is what will allow you to do the thanos moves okay so firstly if you don't have all of these three um enchantments i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what happens all right so i'm just gonna remove that one so basically the 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 attack of the talisman should look like this right that's all it does if you don't have all of the things equipped all of those three runic, uh, I mean, en enhancements equipped. But if you have all three of them equipped, it, sh it also throws the missiles, guys. So I'm going to show you right now what it looks like with all three of them. So you need Eye of the Outer Realm. And you get this by completing all the freaking quests. I know for sure that there should be a video on YouTube on how to get this. I'm really sorry, but I don't remember where I got this. Um, but it's it's by doing the story or something guys and Muspelheim Muspelheim Eye of Power I'm, I'm guessing I got it by defeating one of the Valkyries uh, especially the one Gondu in Muspelheim or by completing the what you call it um, the the challenges in Muspelheim so just make sure you do those as well and if you complete them all then you should probably get this and this should be on your first run of God of War and Asgard Shard of Existence should be by just uh defeating some of the Valkyries and this is the perfect version as well so I'm guessing I did this in New Game Plus which just makes sense so yeah you need to equip these three into I mean onto the Shadow Gauntlet of Ages and this should make your attack look like this and it also throws in missiles those missiles will follow your target if they miss so but if they hit the concrete then they will just explode but if they don't hit anything and the enemy is still alive it will come back and shock them so yeah that's what it does um i will basically drop a video tomorrow on this build against sigrun so you guys can see what this how strong this build is and if you guys by any chance just want to make this thanos build even more op i mean use the new game plus version which basically means that you're just gonna be more even more strong <laughs> just stronger in general as you can see look at those stats just increasing literally just increasing look at that 400 defense 332 power and uh jesus man it's just more op and this should be the ultimate thanos build right here which is basically the new game plus version of the valkyrie armor and damn boy i'm telling you now this armor will just make you look retardedly boss level, guys. And as you can see, the stats are just ridic did ridiculous, man. Um, but if by any chance you don't want to have any more strength by, you know, by, um, what do you call it? By doing punches and stuff, then you can just remove this. And for example, you got the tear shard, which gives you eight stats on everything. And then you also have either the uh, winged, uh, what you call it? Uh, Eye of the Wing Chosen for Jorn Temporal Thing. So this happens when they hit you. So when they hit you, you can then Realm Shift. Realm, realm Shift. And uh, this one, I never will. I wouldn't use this because I, I barely get hit when I'm playing. And if I do get hit, the enemy will probably be dead by one more shot. One more hit. So 
so I don't need to get this because it only activates if I have low health. Jordan Temporal Stone, if I do get hit, and since I have really high luck, well, 78 is probably average, um, you could get, you know, I would probably like stop the enemy mid combo and then if, if they do hit me though, that's, that is, the enemy will definitely like be paralyzed in the, in the momentum, which will allow me to counter attack, which is good. And uh, yeah, that's probably it guys. I would recommend you guys use this and you know, go crazy. Or Jorn Temporal Stone, which then, as you can see, the stats went from that and it's just insane guys. This is basically the ultimate Thanos build right here. And yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna upload a video where I'm fighting the Valkyrie Queen. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, tomorrow I will also talk about, actually, no, forget that, not tomorrow. Let's equip the runic skills right now so you guys know what I'm going to use tomorrow against the Valkyrie Queen, all right? So you got the light runic attack, health touch, which is pretty good for, you know, for quick counter. If the Valkyrie Queen is about to attack you and they get really close, then just only use this. And I uh, normally use Invalidate's Anvil because I can do this and then spin the camera make it look really sexy um and then you also have the if you haven't seen my runic attack cancel um as you can see this attack right here i modified it by allowing me to do this right that you before i started playing this game you, you wouldn't be allowed to do that you shouldn't be able to do that <laughs> but um i found a way to do that and then you also have this ridiculous well I'll have to show you that on the Queen Valkyrie fight tomorrow. But um, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the Thanos build. And uh, yeah. Also for Atreus, before I go off. For Atreus, you want to use um, Wrath of the Wolf because it stuns. It flinches the Valkyrie because they have really strong super armor, guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care, man.